Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with another misconception video. This is with respect to Venus. Top misconceptions about Venus. Exaggerated, overhyped, and misunderstood things. What are they? The first misconception is anybody who has Venus in the ascendant will look like the heavens. <laughs> no, that is not true. See, uh, you have to understand, what is the first house? The first house shows your appearance, but it shows many other things. See, in essence, first house is the first impression. Should I repeat, first house is first impression. If somebody has a benefic in the first house, the first impression is more likely to be good. I don't mean only by photo or by looks. The first impression of interacting with that person. It's likely to be more good. Now, I don't mean to say that if malefics are there, then um, you won't have a good first impression. But if there are benefics, and especially benefics like Jupiter and Venus, then if the overall horoscope supports, let's take an example. If a person is like uh, very smart and very professional in dealings in the workplace, and then if the person has a benefic, in the ascendant, like Jupiter or Venus, then this magnifies uh, the professionalism and that feel good factor many, many, many times actually. Okay. Because um, the ascendant, when uh, influenced by a benefit, can give uh, good things to the ascendant. So, what does Venus represent actually? Venus, many people think they it represents only relationships. No. Venus represents uh, something which is very calm, very nice, very soothing, very pleasurable, very enjoyable, very soft, or it's like nice, basically. <laughs> Materially opulent. Uh, Venus represents those things which even if you do not have in life, it will not affect you. But you still take them because Venus is luxury. Okay, So, if you meet somebody who has Venus in the ascendant, you might get a feeling as if you know you are dealing with a very luxurious person. Not that the person is luxurious, not necessarily, but you may feel that. So what happens when you sit on a very luxurious couch or a nice bed? What happens? You know, you feel, ah, I'm sitting in a nice place. So when you interact with them, you can also get that same feeling. You know, oh, I am dealing with a luxurious person. <laughs> but it's not necessary that it will give you uh, the best of the best looks. You know, it's not that uh, just you will look great, you know, look nice. It's not all about looks, all right? Now, of course, if the person looks very good, then it uh, it enhances the first impression. Okay? But if uh, there are planets like Mars or Saturn linked to the Ascendant along with Venus, then uh, the person's behavior may be very erratic sometimes. The person, I have seen these people, they look very good, but they are, you know, very rash and they are like very cut to cut. So, if you see their photo, you will be impressed. Wow, this person looks very attractive. But when you deal with that, then, then uh, you are like, okay, they are nice. <laughs> but not as what you expected them to be by seeing the photo, all right? So, Therefore, the biggest misconception is Venus in the Lagna will only give good looks. Venus in Lagna can give so many things. It, it can give a person very soft speech. Okay. And generally, you will see people like those who speak softly. You know, if a person speaks very roughly, ah, you won't necessarily like the person. Some people may like, but generally, those who speak very rough or very rash, rashly, they do not have a good first impression. So therefore, uh, it can mean so many things, all right? So this is something which you have to get out of your mind because I see all the time people, oh, Venus is in Lagna, this person will be very good. No, 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 not necessary. Of course, the sign where Venus is, that also matters, okay? That has a huge uh, importance, actually. Okay? If Venus is in an Ardi sign, then it can mean a different kind of beauty. If Venus is in an air sign, it can mean something different. Venus is in a water sign, mm -hmm, something different. Okay. All right, so this is the first misconception. Number two is um, 
This is huge actually. Venus in 5th, 7th or 8th will make you a cheater. Or if Venus is in 7th, uh, your spouse will cheat on you. No, 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 no. This doesn't happen. Or th this is also another thing. You know, if Venus is in 7th, my spouse will be very attractive. This also doesn't work. <laughs> so see, the 5th house, 5th uh, house if link, another thing is Venus in 12th. Also the person uh, can uh, be very much, you know, uh, what they say, the person can always, uh, the person always runs behind the opposite sex. That is another misconception, okay. So what is the 5th house? The 5th house is the house of love and creativity also. Do not forget that. It's the house of intelligence, sharpness, understanding anything very quickly. So Venus in the fifth house can also give you things like uh, you can understand very fast. Yes, because it's a benefit. It can do that very well. 100% it can do that. Venus in fifth can give you great health, my God. Because Venus is uh, this is Shukrachari. He is the seaman actually for a man. So therefore, uh, it can give you a very uh, vibrant uh, health because the more somebody loses semen, that extent the person is degrading uh, his life actually, okay. So, uh, Venus in fifth can uh, give you great health. Fifth house is the house of uh, strong immunity. It's the house of recovery. A fifth house Venus can give you great recovery, okay. Not that you are uh, running behind uh, the opposite sex all the time because Sometimes I see people, they will do this Kundli Milan, uh, compatibility, uh, whatever they call it. And then they will be like rejecting the horoscopes because they, somebody has Venus in 5th, 7th, 8th or 12th. Okay. So similarly, uh, the 7th house Venus. 7th house Venus can make you a great businessman. Can make you uh, uh, very wealthy in dealing with masses. All right. And as usual, if you are new to the channel, then uh, please subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation from me, you can go to my website down below, exoticastrology.in. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And congratulations to all of you who made it to the Janmashtami Midnight Fast. Yes, congratulations. You did it. I knew you will. <laughs> all right. So, yes, similarly, uh, we have the... Uh, Fifth house has another area, which is, you know, uh, this uh, modeling and, you know, this film industry. So another misconception is Venus in fifth, you will become a model. You will make it big in the film industry. No, 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 no. See, whichever area it is, either it's politics, YouTube or you know, writing or government or IT or real estate or, you know, economics, bank whichever area success uh, when you say the person is very famous the name and fame comes from only two houses the 10th and the 11th all right now yes if the lords of these 10th 11th and 5th are linked and venus associates then the person might get name and fame through you know modeling and all these things but for that you need a, a very strong 8th house and a strong 12th house also without that it doesn't happen i have seen then the person can go towards, you know, embroidery, painting and all these things. All right. Now for that, the third house has to be associated somehow. So this is another misconception. Fifth house Venus is uh, a person is very creative. Well, the person may, may be creative, but uh, in some other areas, okay, uh, not traditionally like singing, dancing and all the time. All these uh, typical creativity. The person can be into app development, okay, making mobile apps, uh, lab, computer apps. And the person can uh, make something which is very appealing externally. The person can, in IT, the person can be into this user experience design, user uh, interface and all this. Anything which pleases the eye, that is Venus actually. Okay. So uh, th these are some of the misconceptions. And the next one is what? Uh, Venus in the seventh. Spouse will cheat on me. No, definitely not. This, does, this is another misconception. And uh, see, this this can happen if the overall chart is uh, very challenging. Okay, if the sixth house is very challenging or the seventh house is not very good, then once in a blue moon this can happen. But just because you have Venus in the seventh, it doesn't mean that you uh, 
you your spouse will cheat on you or it doesn't mean that you will also cheat necessarily so they don't make a blind judgment like this okay yeah now if you have been a sin 7 then uh, what does this mean this means that uh, the first impression about your marriage which people have that can be relatively better so you might uh, when when you and your spouse are standing uh, next to next uh, each other then the people may say that oh both are looking really nice both are equal in terms of intelligence uh, physical appearance and you know family status and all this or character or whatever intelligence or smartness or whatever it is or maybe even career also these days so that could happen but to say that uh, venus is in my seven so i will marry a miss universe is not very apt all right or to say that my spouse will cheat is also not apt okay even rahu in seventh i made the video on rahu yesterday even there i said the same thing okay now another misconception is uh you know, venus in eighth the person is you know uh, overly sexual this this could be at times if the fifth house is linked and somehow the moon and uh, rahu and the ascendant lord they are very badly placed okay then this can happen uh, excessive sexuality but not necessarily always so let me give you an example if the fourth lord is venus and it is placed in the eighth house it will show research in areas of education okay so then you should not say that uh, this this person is like uh, and then you make a snapshot prediction like this oh venus is in the eighth you must have had troubles with sexuality and then the person is like no oh, what is he talking you know i am in the office 24 hours i am just stuck up in my lab and this person is telling you know i am running behind uh, opposite sex you know this person is not a very good astrologer it seems his or her predictions are not correct you see so astrology gets a bad name so therefore please check the overall horoscope what where is the flow of the horoscope okay now another misconception is venus in the ninth is bad why because ninth house is the house of dev guru Vyaspati. and venus is shukrachari venus is the enemy okay so dev guru and danav guru they are you know, like clashing no this is not a bad placement literally this can be a bit challenging i'll tell you how the part see wherever venus sits you might seek luxury there always okay so now if uh, you are talking of the ninth house ninth house involves certain levels of austerity like tapasya penance and all these things okay now if venus is there uh, you may not do that level of austerity but if that doesn't mean you uh, you cannot become spiritual okay it, it doesn't mean that it simply means that uh, like venus is also food okay so like for example uh, Yes, uh, today when I'm recording this video, today is Janmashtami and tomorrow when you will see this, uh, it's not, it's Nandotsav, okay. So generally in Janmashtami, they fast without food or water till 12 in the uh, night, okay. But if somebody has uh, Venus in the night, that person may feel that uh, the person may not be able to fast that much, okay. Now that can be uh, a, a bit of a challenge uh, to do certain severe austerities. The austerity part of spirituality can be difficult. I agree to that. But the person can do so many other things. The person can, you know, uh, make paintings for Krishna. The person can, you know, sing. The person can dance. The person can be very much creative when it comes to the ninth house. That person may not like something very standard, you know, like just sitting and chanting mantra. The person may do. Uh, if the guru has uh, ordered that person has to do that but the person may be more interested into you know singing about krishna or dancing or these kind of things basically okay the person may not like to read too much bhagavad gita or shrimad bhagavatam the typical stereotype things okay but there are so many other things which they can do they can do a lot of uh, pujari stuff actually worship they can do you know archan they can do very well i have seen they can decorate the deities very well have you seen, have you gone to temples and seen how beautifully they decorate uh, the deities? You know, Radha, Krishna, Sita, Ram. So, they are masters of this, right? So, therefore, just because Venus is in the ninth, uh, don't think that their spiritual life is not going to be good. This is 
this is very bad actually okay then another thing is uh, venus will always indicate love affairs venus will always indicate something to do with love romance or marriage or relationships no it's not like that there are certain houses where if venus is placed it can behave totally the opposite okay because a planet takes the color of the house which it sits in so for example if somebody has venus in these two houses in the bhav chart okay disclaimer or even if venus is the lord of these two houses the 6th and the 10th the person can have a career related to venus venusian careers okay you will very often see venus in 6th or venus in 10th the person is either not interested in relationships or the person uh, wants to be with somebody but they cannot be or uh, many people want to be with them but they don't like any of them or you know both of them like each other but due to some circumstances they cannot stay together okay this can happen if the horoscope is not good for relationships but suppose the horoscope is very good for relationships and then you have venus in the 6th or 10th or venus lord in the 6th or the 10th then what can happen then this, then this can manifest in a different way then this can mean your relationships are good no problem with that but you are having a venusian career which means you know you are selling bags or perfumes or you may be in, into modeling or all these things okay so uh, or something to do with youtube actually okay so these 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 are the ways by which you can uh, actually see now yeah now that 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 may not affect the marriage if the uh, overall horoscope is good okay but generally these two houses are very bad for marriage the 6th and 10th these are the worst houses actually so if the horoscope is not good for married life then uh, venus in these two houses can wreak havoc in relationships and the person may decide never to get married or the person may uh, want to remain as a celibate okay voluntarily or out of choice or out of force all these things can happen okay disclaimer not for everybody if the overall horoscope is not supporting relationships only in that case okay because now when i say this then you will uh, start bombarding in the comments oh my god i have venus in 6th i have venus in the 10th what will happen will i never get married no you might get married you may not get married depending on the horoscope and dashas of course do not ignore dashas all right never do that it's the biggest crime in astrology people do the another misconception is about um, venus in the 11th venus in the 11th the uh, the person ha- is overly sexual or something like this not necessary see 11th house does not give uh, derogatory sexuality it doesn't give that 11th house gives uh, long term committed relationships never forget that 11th house is the fifth from the seventh it is the happiness of marriage okay it is the house of friends so how in the universe can the fifth house from the seventh house for god's sake how in the universe can that give you you know uh, extra marital affairs no never extra marital affairs are coming either from the eighth or the twelfth especially the twelfth house why because it is the sixth from the seventh extra marital affair means there is a um, there is a dissatisfaction in the marriage okay or there is a lack of commitment or difficulty uh, not commitment exactly it's like uh, the propensity to cheat as you say uh, so that is not only the 12th house from the ascendant it is also a dusthana 6th house from the 7th house okay so 11th house never 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 can give you uh, extramarital affairs or uh, unwarranted sexuality as they say in fact the 11th house can be very good if the overall horoscope is good now if the horoscope is going towards money if the if the horoscope is a very money oriented chart then this can mean uh, money huge money coming in okay it may not necessarily mean that uh, you are you are married or you, you you have a great marriage it may not mean that but in general i am saying about the 11th house okay so do not Uh, just say this and then about conjunctions also they say moon venus is a very deadly conjunction okay because they are enemies well no not necessarily it depends on so many factors um primarily if moon venus they are aspecting each other or they are together somewhere then you have to see in which house is it 
okay then you have to see what are the things that this house represents okay so for example if moon and venus are in the seventh house this can be the best thing to have for marriage provided the horoscope is good for marriage now if uh, the horoscope is bad for marriage then this can really be a very difficult placement okay or there's another misconception they say uh, moon and venus they will make the person very much you know overly romantic or something like this because of which you know they the their spouse may feel insecure that many other members of the opposite sex are uh, wanting to interact with this person <laughs> so that will all that might also happen but then uh, that will happen if you know somehow rahu is linked or the eighth house is linked or the sixth house is also linked you know, because then sixth house gives you insecurity because it's the denial of seventh house right so only then this happens but blindly you should not say okay and if this is in the ninth house this can be very good if this is in the lagna this can also be very good okay and there is another misconception that um, venus and saturn my god is the most dreaded uh, conjunction in astrology i guess nothing is feared more than this conjunction saturn and venus um, they say that the person uh, will have lot of suffering in marriage no no necessarily see suffering will be there but not the way you think okay but uh, so saturn venus together they think that oh you know whole life i'll be crying my spouse will leave me the my spouse will ditch me or something like that no, it's not like this it can manifest in different ways now if the sixth house is involved then this can mean denial of marriage or divorce or break up or you know long separation because of work or you know something very much unpleasant then this can mean but but there are other meanings to this it can mean that your uh, spouse is much much elder like uh, even more than a decade sometimes okay so this can mean that or it can mean the the spouse looks much uh, elder than his or her age so if the spouse is around 25 people will say oh he or she looks as if they are you know 29 or 30 32 something like this or it can mean that your marriage is delayed okay everything is fine in your life and your partner is also same of your age or something like this but your marriage is delayed and when when does that happen when they are linked to the seventh house okay so anything can happen if saturn venus are linked but what will happen that that will depend on the houses where they are linked with what okay but it doesn't mean that if you have both of them together you will be crying for the rest of your life you will never get married it doesn't mean that okay so therefore uh, these are very big misconceptions about venus all right so stay away from all this and be very precise when you give a judgment okay otherwise if you say these these will happen and the person is like okay mm -hmm. what will happen all right so if you cannot help somebody at least don't confuse them all right and we'll be back with another misconception video later hopefully okay so if you have any other misconceptions about venus then please write it down in the comments or if you have made your own research on what you think is a misconception okay what is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him and if you want other videos on venus i'll put it here okay and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it thank you very much